very good morning everyone and uh, i will talk about uh, protein protein interaction related to mt2 and interacting protein linking phosphate related fat to nf kappa b pathway leads to colorectal cancer formation actually this research was done not here in china with uh, the authors are listed uh, some of them are corrected properly but uh, i will present right uh, jing guang hui wang sheng ma ding yuan and zi chen hua it's difficult anyway so i will talk about uh, this is my agenda introduction methodology results and discussion and summary but it's very difficult to differentiate uh, the methodology so therefore i will go methodology plus results and discussion together now we'll come to the introduction uh, our lab actually very much interested about doing fadd gene fast associated dead domain like it's a uh, death domain now it is uh, located in chromosome 11 in the q1 now if you see the structure there are two domains death effector domain and the death domain we were very much interested about that c terminal interactions so the main function of this fad uh, it is a death receptor like if you call fad it always involved in the apoptosis so therefore this tnfr1 or trail d3 signal transduction pathway it's a adapter molecule where it starts or uh, get the signal first and uh, before going to the interaction i just want to explain another area like uh, another gene mt2 a this is a very small one 7 kilo dalton and highly enriched cysteine it means it's uh, metal binding and it's located on uh, 16 chromosome in human and function as uh, maintaining essential uh, metal homeostasis now again uh, there are more like protection against metal toxicity and uh, and it will protect oxidative damage and uh, this protein also having like two domains alpha and the beta now I will go skip this not skip but it will be integrated with the results and discussion now what we did uh, initially was we were utilized two yeast hybrid system to find out novel protein interactions now uh, the construct DNA bit uh, it means the fad and uh, the construct AD which we purchased from the clone tech that is the human heart cDNA library so we transform these two plasmid to H109 that is uh, the vehicle where you can find the interaction then the finding was done from the selection medium and verify the protein interaction from the beta gal assay that is a responsible gene is lac z now if the proteins proteins are interacting so we'll be able to find out that is in the blue in color and if it's not that's it comes in the white in color so what we did was this blue in color plasmids we have isolated and we cultured in a broth to bring a mass culture after the uh, culture you know like we extract the plasmid we have done a PCR to find out positives to make sure like we are not repeating or sending the same plasmid to the sequence what we did was we did the double digestion with alu1 and ha3 and finally we got seven positive interaction from that screening so we were interested about this humanine like initially but unfortunately we didn't get any interactions then we went for with the literature review like we went to the mt2a and we got positives so when you do a uh, study like this we had to find out which domain is interacting with which one i mean so therefore like uh, m2 tua we construct like few uh, one is full length then alpha domain and the beta domain it was uh, ligated into uh, prk5 similarly fad there is two domains as i said death effector domain and the dead domain we construct the full length then death effector domain and the dead domain and we were very much interested in the c-terminal deletion and we delete the c-terminal and the construct again and in this study we were very much interested about the phosphorylated fat fat is becoming phosphorylated 
So that is the site like which I shown to your my left hand side S194, A194 and D194. So D194 is the phosphorylated site. Now allylene or serine 194 replacement doesn't uh, give the phosphorylated fat. Now above constructions were done for the following experiment. Now to check the protein interactions, we do co-immunoprecipitation and the GST pull down. So co-immunoprecipitation means in vitro and GST pull down in vivo, internal and external. Now we observed uh, there is interaction. Now this is novel uh, and uh, if you see the co-IP that is in vitro, immunoprecipitation with fat antibody and western blot or immunoblotting with the MT2A, you got a, we got a positive interaction. Now if you Interacting, so we went to the G dead domain, and finally, you know, we identified the phosphorylated fat is interacting. That is the lower image. Further, why? Okay, thank you. Right. Now the interaction doesn't mean you know like. Uh, there'll be something happening inside the cell. So we want to find out what's happening inside the cell with this interaction. First, we overexpress fat, and we observed it's in the cytoplasm. Then the MT2A, CY3, it's in the red in color when you see the luminofluorescence uh, microscope. So it's also localized in uh, what you call cytoplasm. But if you quote transform these two plasmid, we observed, uh, you know, it goes towards nuclei. That is the lower one, right? And we know that fat is known for the death. Now, if you see the fat incorporate, we observe 46% of death with the PI and annexin 5 staining. Now, this is a common one staining which you use to identification of the cell death. But interestingly, we found MT2 and the fat together, you know, it reduced. It reduced the uh, cell death. This was done in the flow cytometry. And it reduced means we had to find out whether is it upregulated or downregulated. Normally, if it's reduced means no cell death, means upregulated. To find out whether is it upregulated, normally we know like NF kappa is, is uh, upregulated. One, uh, when you see the EMSA, in the EMSA there was a super shift observed. This is the super shift observed with the MT2A and the MEF, that is NF kappa B. To further confirm, we have done the luciferase assay, that is uh, the expression inside the nuclear level, and we observed it's also increased when you knock down the gene, MT2A gene, and it reduced. These are the two things, right, you have to uh, clearly demark, right? So it reduced. Now, up to now, we identified that MT2A fat together with the NF kappa B, it upregulated and the cell proliferation increases. So what we did was finally we went for the animal model, that is uh, nude mice, we got the nude mice six weeks. So we uh, culture the colo cancer and we uh, inject to the animal and uh, we grown the cancer on the animal model and within 12 days and the 20th day we inject the gene knockdown with the RNAi or a MT2A. Very interestingly we found, you know, like when we introduced MT2A or either if had RNAi, the cancer formation retarded. It means there is a link MT2A or fat together in the colorectal cancer. So it was a series of studies, I have not explained some of the data, so interesting data was interestingly explained. Now if I go for the conclusion, now considering the IP and the GST pull down uh, assay or data, into to a beta domain interact with the fat C, I am sorry I have uh, mistaken at the beginning, and the fit fat C terminal, and very interestingly, you know, like it is phosphorylated fat, right? 
the fat phosphorylated. Now further, in this study, MT2FAD-D, it means this is phosphoryl fat, and in nf kappa b complex, which enhance nuclear localization. Animal model explains that the MT2A and the FAD-D enhance colo cancer development because when your gene knock down, so it will return the cancer in size. Uh, that's it. Anyway. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Marika. The paper yeah. is open for discussion. Yeah. Now, now, yesterday's lecture, like, it's very difficult to target, you know, like, I mean, though, like, this is an animal model. Now, with the development of the nanoparticles, if you have the nanorobotics, or if you introduce this RNAi to the nanorobotics, it will clearly identify the cancer and, you know, like, it will uh, kill or, like, remove the cancer with the RNAi therapy. So that is why, you know, like, it's not developed. Animal model works well. Is something to do with the uh, RNA stability. You know, RNA also very unstable, right? So you are right, but uh, you know, with that new technology, when you construct, you can send it with the nanoparticle. I mean, that is the best way. Yes, we found like I have shown like in one screen in seven. There is like more other uh, proteins were interacting, but we were interested initially with the, when you look at the literature, so we interested the human in, but it didn't interact with the fat. But the MT2 was interacted, we stopped there, and there were like a seven interaction at that screening. Okay, thank you. Thank you.